Hello viewers, this is Mama Sajid Hassan and you guys watching Sajid Steak. Guys, in this video I'll talk with you about how you can make or create multiple all cursor sliders in your website single page. So, for that there is a problem is that whenever you just make or create something multiple all cursors in your more than one all cursor uh, in your one website page in your single page, that time you will face a problem is that uh, it will all the all cursors will work same similarly, but you don't want to make it. So how you can use or work the every single all cursors in your website uh, in your one page? So in this tutorial, I'll show you. Before that, I just request you to subscribe my channel, and if you do so still now, so thanks a lot. Start it. First of all, we need to just go to here. Here it is. This is my index.html. And this is the style of CSS and the jQuery.js. Here are my three CSS are here: all.cursor.min.css, all.theme.default.min.css, and the style.css. These two are by my all cursor file. And there, this is another the jQuery is the jQuery library too. Without this, no any jQuery will not work. And here is the all.cursor.min.js. This is the another. I'll just go take it from here my all cursor file and I assume that you all guys know how to make a basic all cursor so start it if you do not know how you can make a basic all cursor slider so just check out my discards here in the video talk or just check out the description I'll give you the link here so here I have made three all cursor sliders here this is my all cursor one this is the two and this is the three and here these are the one two and three so whenever I just do something work for here like that whenever I just off the just disclose the nav from here that time it will just close the nav for all here like that I just make it a false that time it will make false for all the names but I just want to make the for make false the nav for only it suppose I also if I just false the I just disappear the dots for here that time it will also make a problem is that it just make the hide the dot for everything every carousel if I just make the item for one that time it will also make the item one for every single items here so that's the problem but just I want to work only for it so what I have to do is that as this is my first uh, our cursor the our cursor number one so here this is my our cursor number one just course are here so here I need to just there have two classes our cursor and our thing and this our cursor class is used here and here it is so I need to just change it so but there have a condition is that you need to you can't change these classes without these classes you can't work it so for that what you have to do is that you need to just create your own class here suppose like that I just make here a class called the Sajid one so just copy the Sajid one here and here it is the all cursor ones this is the first all cursors course are here in the jQuery so just change out the course here and just paste the code here and it will only work for here too it's here it is all the things are just remain similarly and that only it only works for here so if I just make the dots as the true that time it will only true for it so just refresh it and let's say it here it is these are and it just only work for here too if I just work uh, something for the all cursor two. that time what I have to do is that I just go to here and this is the my all cursor two. just course and just suppose that here I just make the uh, another class in the Sajid 2 or Sajid 20 just make that class as the Sajid 20 so just go to here and here is this is the all cursor 2 course here in the all cursor so just in the jQuery so just change the class here and that time it will work I just make the nav as a false and the dots are as a true and here I will it will get two items for here so like that and here it is it just working like that here and here I will also work here like that and here you can also add your own 
just uh, navigation here like that so just go to here and add the nav navigation here just go to the docs I just want to work this custom uh, buttons for this so what I have to do is that here they have the class is the old carousel so I just make the old carousel as of Sajid 1 so just make it the Sajid 1 and here the custom next button it will be the in the next button here the all next it will be the custom next and just uh, go to the custom preview button it will be the in the all preview like that and here it is so just make it and it will only work for you here it is it's just working only for it so by that you can make it so that's it guys and it just only work for it and you can make it for here too i just copy it and i just show you guys here too so just make here and uh, it will i just want to make here too here so just uh, copy the code here i just want to make it for also for the owl cursor to the second owl cursor here the class is not sajid one is the class say sajid 20 and here it is i just add here it's just working here too fine now there have a problem is that wherever you just click here it will work for it but whenever you just click here it will also work for it because there have a problem is that these classes are custom button this class i just use this custom button custom next button here in the slider one and in the slider two the uh, same classes so here there's a problem i just make there i just make some different classes here just make that two as here i just add the two that time is for my second classes so just go to here and that means that you need to just give make something different for everything you need to just give a different class for every algorithm to just resolve the problem but the problem is also still now so what you have to do is that you need to just wrap the whole all carousel course here uh, suppose that these are my all carousel code uh, for the first slider so just take off this all and cut it and now just make a wrapper for the all jquery wrapper here to the ready document dot ready dot function if you can see function and make it the second bracket and take it here and also do it for the second two please and give a semicolon and now this all are the separately and it will all work separately so here it is and now it's just working for it and it's just working for it that means you need to just make them a separate by their uh, jquery separation the jquery wrapper so by that you can use multiple call cursors in your single page so that's it guys from me and guys i think you get a lot of help from this video and if you guys just get a support from this video then i request you to give a thumbs up under this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you goodbye see you soon have a nice day